The ASEAN Future Forum 2024 wrapped up in Hanoi on April 23rd after a day of productive discussions. In his closing speech, Vietnamese Minister of Foreign Affairs Bui Thinh Sơn said, in-depth discussions at the event have provided regional countries and stakeholders with valuable insights to reflect on and reaffirm the importance of collective efforts in shaping a brighter future for the ASEAN community. The minister expressed optimism about ASEAN's development direction, noting that the discussions had attracted a significant number of policymakers and business entities to explore and propose feasible solutions with some proposing unique approaches to adapting to and addressing regional challenges. The ASEAN Future Forum 2024, themed toward fast and sustainable growth of a people-centered ASEAN community, was an important initiative proposed by Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính at the 43rd ASEAN Summit last September. It aimed at creating a common platform for ASEAN member states as well as partner countries and ASEAN people to contribute to promoting and shaping the bloc's development path. The 11 Vietnam Republic of Korea Defense Policy Dialogue took place in Hanoi on April 23rd, reviewing results of the country's cooperation in the field, discussing matters of shared concern, and agreeing on orientations for joint work in the time to come. Deputy Minister of National Defense Huang Sun Chien and his Republic of Korea counterpart Kim Seong Ho co chair the event. Deputy Minister of National Defense Huang Sun Chien said that the bilateral ties have been enhanced across areas, including defense, following the upgrade of the Vietnam Republic of Korea relations to a comprehensive strategic partnership. In December 2022, he noted that with the support from their leaders, the country's defense cooperation has reaped practical outcomes regarding delegation exchanges, education training, dialogue, and consultation mechanisms, defense industry, military trade, war aftermath alleviation, cyber security, military medicine, and UN peacekeeping. He recommended they continue to foster joint work in these spheres and affirmed that the Vietnamese Defense Ministry is willing to host senior officers from the ROK attending training courses. For a spot, Kim stated the Republic of Korea wants to expand its defense collaboration with Vietnam and propose the size, maintain current joint activities, and explore new cooperation areas based on their friendship. Australia Daily, the Sydney Morning Herat has added Ho Chi Minh City of Vietnam to the war list, a bad short haul holiday destination for Australian family holidays looking for travel abroad. Ho Chi Minh City is a frenetic and underrated financial center that offers year-round balmy weather, a rich history, and one of the most exciting food scenes throughout Southeast Asia. During a holiday lasting four to six days, there are plenty of things to do across the city, according to the news rise City Morning Hero. Once traveler must cross in the road safely, many popular attractions are within soaring distance of one another. Popular sites include the Grand French Colonial City Hall, the Opera House, the Saigon Central Post Office, Notre Dame Cathedral, and Sun Dapert Book Street, all of which can be done in one trip. The article also suggested street food sites such as Bing Tay and Phung Hung Market. The second Vietnamese Bang Mi Baguette Festival is scheduled to take place from May 17 to May 19 in Ho Chi Minh City, with the event showcasing many 50-year-long standing brands from across the country. The festival will bring together a total of 150 pavilions from domestic and foreign restaurants, hotels, bakeries and businesses, with the ultimate aim of recognizing the value of bread in Vietnamese cuisine, which are honoring the skill and creativity of local bakers. The festival will therefore feature impressive images of giant dragon mascots straight from the entrance using Vietnamese bang mi. The organizers will arrange a special area specifically aimed at displaying photos and documents about baguettes throughout histories, thereby helping visitors to explore Vietnamese food culture. Furthermore, a ceremony will be held to honor top long standing and famous bread brands in the country, as well as a workshop on the development of Bang Mi in the nation. 
Every year, when the full moon of the third lunar month comes, Bá Dương Nội Village, Hồng Hà Commune, Đan Phượng District, Hà Nội, organize the traditional kite flying festival. This festival dates back to the 10th century, showcasing many unique cultural features of the wet rice civilizations and expressing countless aspirations of poor farmers. 65 kites from 18 kite clubs in five provinces and cities, including Hanoi, Ninh Bình, Vĩnh Phúc, Thái Bình, and Bắc Giang, participated in this competition. After a ceremony was held at the village temple, all kites that met the requirements were flown high by their owners to start the scoring. To make a good kite, we have to prepare good bamboo. We shave both wings evenly and glue the kite flat and beautiful, then the kite will fly very high. The villagers here believe that if a kite flies high and the sound of the flute resonates, that is a sign of a year full of health and luck. The winner is the kite that flies high, stands wings, and has a clear and sharp flute sound to make the kite fly steadily. The person holding the kite string needs the flexibility or agility to drive kites according to the wind. I'm very proud and honored to be at this festival. It's my first time to a kite festival. I can find and feel all the passion. At the end of last February, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism recognized Basil No Kite Festival as a national intangible cultural heritage. This is an opportunity for the locality to both promote the unique cultural features of the Red River Delta region and leverage its strength in terms of scenic sports to attract tourists.